In this lesson, we're going to be learning about morphing animations. In this lesson, we're going to be doing morphing interactions. But before that, I need to explain how you can actually make morphing animations. So to explain how they work, I've headed over to my website, svgenius.co. And here's a morphing animation. So as you can see, when I hover over it, it plays, it stays at this frame. And then when I release it, it actually plays backwards. And for these kind of interactions, you need an animation that isn't a perfect loop, basically. For our website, for School of Rotti, I'm going to be using this animation. And we need to modify it a bit to get it working as a morphing interaction. As you can see, it's going to play and pop out and then put back in. And the problem with this is that it's a perfect loop. What we need for a morphing animation is to stop it around here, around frame 30. So like this, when the cursor hovers over the animation, it plays till this frame. Whilst the cursor is still over it, it's gonna stop here. And then when the cursor moves out, it's going to play backwards and pop back in. So the problem is, if the animation um, has its full length, full length, when the cursor is over it, it's going to pop out, but also pop back in. And then when the cursor is removed, it's going to do it again, pop out and then pop back in. And we only want it to do it once. So we've got to cut this animation at frame 30, basically. And this is the same for toggle animations which we'll be covering in another lesson. So for now, we can actually open up After Effects. And this is a super neat trick. We're going to open up After Effects in a new project, head over to Lottie Files, and we can actually copy this URL. Once that's copied, we're going to open up Body Moving. and click on import lot animations and we can paste the link here import it and import it this is going to load the lot animation into after effects there we go we can go back and then you can close that out if you want to we've got our tri cubes animation and you can see all the shape layers here this is really awesome. And you can see all the different keyframes and how the animation was made. So this is actually really, really uh, powerful because you can find animations you like on Lottie files and actually see how they were made. So here we have our animation playing for one second. We're going to stop it at frame 30 where all these different keyframes are. So for that, you just crop the working area. So you press N and there we go. If you play it like this, obviously it's going to look a bit weird, but with a more thing interaction, we're going to hover it. It's going to play and then we're going to release the cursor and it's going to play backwards and that's going to look really good and it's going to be interactive. So now we just export it again using body moving all the load files plugin. And yeah, select it, choose a folder name, render it out. I've already included this in the project, so I don't need to do it. So there we go. But that's how I made our morphing animation. So let's get into the code. Uh, we're going to scroll down to uh, number three and four. So number three, and let's just rename that to four and five. Okay, once again, Lottie Interactive, uh, set its path, animations, and then for this one, I actually got a CPU lock animation, also done by uh, Ison, <laughs> Ison Industries, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, interaction equals morph. And let's add the morph block. 
so there we go and a morph block I'm going to show what it is uh, but it's the same in the same idea uh, and this is going to be tricube morph so yeah morphing morphing animations I always like to just end them in morph because it's just easier to to know that you're supposed to use this interaction type on them uh, so that's great and uh, we can reload okay so there we go morphing correctly and then morph lock so that's just normal morphing and then if you click on it it's going to stay there and that's how morphing works it's the same gist uh, to get the toggles working as well uh, which we're going to be covering in another lesson but if you want to get started on the toggles it's exactly the same method as morphing so that's it for this lesson we just covered morphing and morph locking class for today is now over if you would like to be notified when the rest of the class is released subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel and check out my socials in the description box below alright have a good day and see you in the next class.